guys this is an update on my fiddly fig tree one or fiddle one is what I call her I um, split her up with the help of my husband a few months ago um, let me see just very a few months less than a year ago and um, now I have a total of five not just from this from this plant alone um, so this was split into four different pots and she really has grown since I think the last update. It's been a while, I think, since the last video or vlog for this particular plant. Um, I hope you enjoy my video. You're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell. So you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. All my social media accounts are in the description section, just like what I do water her with. Um, I, I do keep her in a west-facing window that has an awning in front of it. She does get um, indirect light all morning and direct light in the afternoon um, and what I water with her every time I do water her which is scheduled for every eight days right now will be in the description section as usual so please do check that out if you're curious and what I what I do um, feed her with I fertilize and supplement every single time I do water her um, a lot of people don't certain people's only I mean certain people not people's certain people only do it in a specific time of the year I'm not really like that. I, I always give them Nutrients every single time I water them I've noticed that if you do skip sometimes like you lose a leaf and this is just all the plants in general So I do that every time um it was this was very challenging to split up because their roots were intertwined and the reason that I split it up is because the roots in the bottom were coming out and secondly they looked very very crowded um, if I were to split every single plant together I would probably have more than split into four different pots but some of them were just um, either like a, a second growth from the same uh, root ball or it just it was so intertwined that I was just it was gonna hurt the it was gonna hurt it overall versus um, if, if I wanted to push to split it up and the soil that I do use is Schultz uh, potting soil it retains enough moisture but it's not water or moisture hogging like um, miracle grow soil even the regular even the cactus soil I think I did a um, a comparison for miracle Grow and a different brand of cactus soil because I thought it was very very important and I thought that if anybody is researching in regards to soil um, they will they will definitely know in regards to that just in case you know what you're getting at if you're interested in whatever type of soil that you're looking for so that was the reason for that video um, so anyway, back to this particular plant. I now have a bamboo stake in there, as you can see. And the reason for that was it was kind of um, moving, leaning towards the left side right now. Um, and I just wanted it to kind of go upright. I would prefer to, I just guide. Um, this one right here, when I transplanted, she was probably about a few inches to, to half a foot um, shorter. She has definitely grown since then. I would say now, now that I think about it, it's probably a foot that she's grown since it transplanted. So I really didn't um, want to separate her because um, it was it was taking really a while to separate, excuse me, to separate this plant to different pots because the root system was severely intertwined. It was very, very difficult. And the more we were... Um, separating them the more it just re it really broke my heart in a sense like it was playing on my heartstrings because it was it was just so embedded together that it, it a lot of it really ripped we ripped like a ton of roots so that was really really sad for me and you know these are my plant babies um these are you know my green babies so you know it it, it does bother me to do that um this is one of the trees that I did, um, if you haven't seen that video that I pinched, I wanted to encourage growth and this is what happened and now it became a V and this is one of the branches coming out and here's the other. So it does work. Um, 
What I do notice though that it your fiddle leaf fig would definitely grow quicker and and it would definitely push out more leaves quicker if you do fertilize. If you don't, I would suggest if you have a uh, like a sunroom or a south facing window, that might be the only reason it's going to do that. Um, other than that, it really isn't going to do that. I don't have a sunroom or a south facing window. Again, she sits in a west facing window. Currently, she's being watered every eight days. Um, every eight days when I do touch the soil about a little over an inch of the top of the soil is like sand. It doesn't stick to my fingers at all. And of course, I also touch the root ball, the top of the root ball, because that's also very, very important. Um, that's actually the, this is actually the only plant, not just this particular one, but only my fill leaf figs that I do that with, that I not only touch the soil around it, but also the, the root ball. And when both of those are completely dry, that's when I do water. And currently the schedule is every eight days. That's just what she needs right now. And I'm just going to do that. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments in regards to this particular plant, let me know down in the comment section. She has definitely grown since my first vlog for this particular plant. Um, there is no additional plant light that I am currently giving her. There's none of that. It is just only purely nature and um, sunshine. So there is no any additional light to give her, you know, give her um, artificial light to encourage um to encourage more growth the only other thing that is not really um from from like the sun is i do give her fertilizer and supplement every single time and again it's going to be linked down in the in the description section so do check that out if you're curious and i'm just going to show you guys again this is a i think either a 10 inch pot or a 12 inch pot she's in a big much much bigger pot and she's all alone so or i think it's about the same size pot but she's all you know she she's not as crowded as she was and what i have noticed too is that she was ready to be by her own pot and she has actually grown more because she had more room to grow um i hope you guys enjoyed my video and of course hit the like subscribe and of course the bell so you're notified every single time i do upload a new video anything else in regards to this particular plant let me know down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all the time. And before I forget, whenever I see that sometimes it's just not growing really right, what I do is I just pinch the top and next thing I know, it starts to sprout out in a few weeks. It starts to sprout out a new sheath, which is this. This is what it's called, the sheath. And um, new growth for new leaves. Um, thank you guys so much for all the wonderful love and support. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.